Louisiana, home of the Bayou Bengals and the stadium called Death Valley since the late 50s. What we have in store for you today, a clash between a couple of SEC teams that could have season-long ramifications. As we'll see, the Vanderbilt Commodores taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Commodores will kick it off to get us underway. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So LSU's offense takes the field. And here he is, guys. Anytime he takes the field, he is in complete control of this offense. And, David, he gives defensive coordinators nightmares because of his ability. They're going to have a hard time slowing him down. No, he just doesn't have those weaknesses, those flaws. The whole playbook available, and he is a dude. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Line getting set on second down. Off the play fake. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's caught. They it want a job to get the foot down and make it a huge gain along the sideline. And yet another Bayou Bengal baller on the outside who can just go get it. And if I'm a quarterback, man, I love throwing to these guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to fit it in a box. I know my receiver out wide will make plays. LSU has had guy after guy after guy that you can name that can do that, and they might just have another one. They think there's room to run to the right here. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. Now, that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. Got his man quickly. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. The Tigers have this offense rolling. In the red area, it's Durham. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Durham. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Caught close to the marker. It's Taylor. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. LSU lining up first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are scrawl, and I say country scrawl. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big people. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, LSU! And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to do some business. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. So Vanderbilt's offense will go to work for the first time. And both of these teams love to use the tight end, Jesse, and they do it very well. And both of these quarterbacks know who their go-to guy is. It's the tight end, as you just mentioned, Reese. These guys find ways to get open, and they make their quarterbacks look good. Oh, they make them look real good. Big, strong bodies can catch the football, can make plays after the catch. The modern tight end position just continues to expand. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. I love the QB here. He holds it, he holds it, he holds it just long enough to let the receiver run the drag route, and then he puts it out in front of him so he can catch it on the run in stride and then turn up field to use his speed. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Lofts one high and deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Commodores will send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Running it back, it's Thomas. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. And they've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Fast motion from the offense. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Defense were always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. He's looking deep and trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Good, solid tackle. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. 
Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Fires into traffic, picked off. Couldn't find a ton of room on that return, but that small change, they take over at the 43. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. From the 30-yard line on first down, The give to the back. They get him off his feet after a pickup of five down to the 25. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. It's complete to the left. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. It's hard to run a route or get lost near the sidelines and understand exactly where you're at. Nice job understanding I'm starting to get close to the sidelines, throttling down a little bit, catching the football and making sure I was in balance. To the ground to try to move the chains. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You've got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Pulls it and fires to the left. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Looking for the score! Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. Well, I love the coverage on defense. In the red zone, everyone's got their eyes on the quarterback, and they're flying to the football, and you saw that there on the incompletion. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Into the house. Touchdown, Tigers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So they moved the ball 43 yards on that drive, and they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. 
To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Guys, LSU has the lead here. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Got it behind the line. It's Stowers. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. So difficult, because my eyes tell me as a defensive guy, he's handing it off. The offensive line's block and run. I got to go get it. Quarterback pulls it, throws it to the right. It's kind of like that hidden hat game. Like, where's the ball? I'm try always trying to find that daggone thing. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. The sure hands. It's Skinner. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Looking to buy time. He'll pull it down on the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. Back to throw. It's Pavia. Looking for a huge play. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Fires to the big fella. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. They didn't get too greedy there. They knew what they needed, and he gets it just past the sticks. Yeah, and I'd like to see the defense maybe be a little bit more aggressive, a little more in the face, because QBC's easy access. I'm going to throw the football. My receiver's got a little bit of space. He can get the first down. I'd like to see the defense make him work for it a little bit more. Grab behind the line. It's Alexander. And they pick up just a few on that completion. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Dumps it off in the flats. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football, trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. The official says no good. Guys, the missed field goal, and nothing changes. It's still a 14-point game. into the playbook here on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing. He's got it down the right side. 
just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. LSU right back to the line. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires left. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! When these offenses get in a the rhythm, they're hard to stop. Already up early, got a short field, take advantage of it too, get another touchdown. This offense is doing whatever they want to do and having a lot of success. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game. And you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half. And it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit. And if I'm the head coach, I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here. Looking for room. It's Alexander. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But... They got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. They'll need to convert this third down from their own 22 to get this drive jump started. Getting some heat. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. Man, those are backbreakers. Defensively, you get so excited. You force the fumble. I'm going to get a turnover. And the offense falls in the field. And the Commodores will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They'll start this drive with a pass. He finds his man. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. He'll take that completion. Second down coming up. Handoff from the gun. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. 
He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Just not able to shake enough defenders and comes up a little bit short. And I think a lot of times on third down, Reese, you bet on your guy. When you're an offensive guy, you say, okay, he's going to break a tackle. He's going to get north and south and somehow get the first down. Nice tackling by the defense, understanding where they had to get to and forcing the fourth down. And he missed it. No good. Missed the field goal, but still up by three touchdowns at 21 points. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. Here comes the offense on second down. To the air, it's Pavia. Floats it out in space. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Well, this offensive coordinator has to be scratching his head because he's trying to keep his quarterback protected. He's trying different things, sliding the offensive line, keeping tight ends and running backs in, chipping, going empty, and getting the ball out quickly, but it's not working. They're just losing the one-on-one -on -one battles up front, and in the second half looking forward, I don't know if they're going to be able to fix it. And the returner goes down. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your... Going for the big play. Snatches it on the right. Running toward the tape. Touchdown, Tigers. And once he got loose, it was all over. If I'm a play caller nowadays, man, I want more guys like this. Just versatility. You can see he can catch it out of the backfield like a wide receiver, or he can run it. Nice job catching the football with his hands, using his speed to do the rest and get into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Looking to move it through the air. He's going to throw deep right side. Catch inside the 30 and still running. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. He'll try to tack on one more. The extra point is good, but they're still down 28-7. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 
He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They've been the height of efficiency here in the first half, David, and you've got to think they're going to try to click it right down the field here. When you're looking at your playbook and it's worked so well in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this defense gets to go in at halftime to potentially make some adjustments, show you some different looks in the second half. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. Keep it up. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Going with the counter play here. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Line gets set. First down. He wants to throw. Complete to the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the wide receivers have to understand what part of the field they're on. I got to make sure I have enough space when I run those out routes that when I break, I can catch the football and try to get upfield, get a few more yards. He runs out of space, but he got the catch and got some positive yards. He's going to pass. Makes the catch. It's Dillon. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands, and you saw it all in that last play. The Commodores in the hurry up. He's back to throw on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. To throw, it's Pavia. Coming after him. He'll pull it down and run. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On the run, it's Alexander. They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And the Commodores line up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. No surprise. Looks as if they'll be content just to head to the locker room. That's going to wrap up the first half here. And now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Death Valley than you? A captivating game so far. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in Baton Rouge. LSU ready to boot it away and open this second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. He's got his man. 
I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They'll leave it with him. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Commodores will hustle to the line. Wants to throw on first down. Looking to the big tight end. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Well, at this juncture in the game, with help... And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Looking to pass. It's Pavia. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup, and this offense is threatening. And the Commodores will snap it on first and ten. The gift to the back. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. He's got it on the move. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Commodores trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. He caught it! And they're able to make the tackle. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. He's looking to throw. And he's got it! Touchdown, Vandy! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. They went 54 yards on that last touchdown drive. And they closed that drive, going to the air for the final few inches and the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Thomas. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. From the gun, give on the inside. Punches ahead, they'll give him a yard to the 13th. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. He's got it, and he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. 
That play was designed to go to the running back. They were hoping they were going to get man coverage. And one-on-one, -on -one, that back is going to win that matchup every single time. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Brought down, but looks as if LSU will pick up the first down. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. To the ground. He's got it again. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 27-yard line. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down at second and seven. Now the play fake. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback, to have everything on your side. And have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet, yelling, screaming. Now, listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese, but they are an intimidating crowd. Finds his man. It's Lacey. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give him a first down. He's showing you his skills on that last throw. This guy's got arm talent and accuracy, man. And some of it, it, it's not coachable. And I think back to Jamarcus Russell and Joe Burrow, two former Tiger quarterbacks that were the first overall pick in the NFL draft. They had some of that, too. They just had a feel for the position that you simply couldn't coach at the college level. This guy, man, he's got some serious tools, and he really helps make this offense dangerous. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go right back to him. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. From the 36, a third down, and you wonder if they're willing to take two plays to get the first. Looking left. Got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing. Game. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. So now with first and goal, let's see what LSU does here. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. They're going to run it. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? 
Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. They move the tight end all over. Trying to run it in. Touchdown, Tigers! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And there is no secret about lineup and goal line formation. I'm going to run the ball down your throat. My guys are more physical than you. Six points on the play. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game pressure, Jesse. It's true. I think for them to get back in this one at this point now, they need the quarterback to play his best football. He's going to have to be good really pre-snap, David, making sure they're in the right looks, and he's got to be really good with his decision-making. He's got to be dialed in because defensively you're giving up points. So it's not like you have the luxury of your defense playing great. The offense is going to have to score and score pretty dang quickly. Knocked down at the 26 after ripping off 10 there. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. Setting up for a first and ten from the 26. He's looking to throw it. He lobs one high down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown doors. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got to step on him. He got to step on him. And the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. And you can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 35-21. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap that one off in style, a 74-yarder for the score. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. Offense gets set for second down. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. 
And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They tried to set up that screen. The problem was, David, they left a big hole in it for the tackle. And just a great job by the defense. Like, that's a fool you play. That's a trick you play. It gets you to run up field, rush the passer, slip it behind you. The defense did not bite. Great play. Great job stopping him on third down. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. And that is just an attitude run. Running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Offense threatening at the 45-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Spence. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Pressure coming. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. To the air, it's Pavia. The sweet feet by a little time. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. These guys aren't human anymore. I mean, they got to survey the field, throw the football, make deep passes, and then guess what else? They pull the ball down, take off, and make big chunks of plays on the ground. It's just impossible to be on defense nowadays. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Dumps it to the back. Got the quick pass. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. And the Commodores will snap it on first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. On the run, it's Alexander. Touchdown, Commodores! And the comeback is on! Lead in the game, and the confidence is building. If only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. Getting set for the point after. They tack on the extra point, and they're down a touchdown, 35-28. They marched 56 yards to the end zone and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Fires to the right. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. LSU quick to the line.
Here's a quick throw out to the left. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Yeah, listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double-team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. A lot of times when you think about speed back, speed, 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 you think on the edge. You don't think in between the tackles. You don't think about breaking tackles. They try to break your ankles. The problem is when you're trying to run there as fast as you possibly can, a lot of times you don't get to put a good hit on him. And in turn, you see he breaks tackles and make big plays. They'll try to run for it. Still running at the 40. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. They came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. He wants to throw. That's reeled in. It's Daniels. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Second and short now after that completion. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards. He gets it down to the 20. Third and inches. When your will, your heart, your desire is put to the test. They'll try to get it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Connection to the right. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammer lock if they can score and bleed the clock. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Can the D deny them on second and goal? The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you've got the football and you've got a lead, it's smash mouth, it's keep that clock running, it's ground game, so interesting. And it's caught for a touchdown, and that might do it. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Going up top on first down. A deep throw as the clock winds down. Fires the pass. Intercepted. 
and they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there and be smart on offense and run that clock. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, David. They had a really good game plan coming into this one, and they went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the pill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And with the game all but decided, this quarterback will take a knee. 